Greetings, today's video is going to be all about training or building your fitness in winter because it's still cold and it's still wet and I'm still training. I'm still getting those those watts out. So I thought I'd give you a couple of my favourite tips on how to train efficiently in winter or how to build your fitness. God, this is the longest intro. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing that I, I guess I'm mainly doing over winter is building my base fitness. And so that is consisting of a lot of tempo and sweet spot training. And the reason for that is kind of, I've done an actual video with my coach, which I will leave in the link below so you can have a look more in depth if you're interested in that. Basically the reason of doing that is you're building that base fitness to kind of push up the, the fitness ceiling, if you like, so that my watts will go higher kind of as we come into spring. So that is the reason I've been doing that. And all my rides are actually on Strava. So if you don't follow me on Strava, there's a link to my Strava below as well. So you can kind of go and have a look at all the rides that I do. I, all the rides on Zwift on there and all obviously all the outdoor rides. So yeah, build a consistent base. Um, and then that leads me on to my second tip, which is basically it's very similar to that, but uh, it's being consistent. You have to be consistent. Even though it's cold, even though it's wet, um, consistency is just so much more important than just doing one huge ride at a week and then that being it. You're better off doing little bits in the week, building that fitness base, um, but being consistent with it. And for me, the consistency is made so much easier with a turbo trainer. So I could not train like I do without a smart trainer. I think they are incredible, incredible, amazing pieces of equipment and I've actually really grown to like doing the indoor sessions, I know, I don't know why. The pain cave is just like my kind of fun cave, I do actually really like it. Um, and so, yeah, I obviously you've seen some of the Zwift rides that I've done, I might do some more Zwift races maybe, maybe I'll do a few more of those in winter, um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed it. But also with that, you've seen some of the issues that I've had with my smart trainer in the past. So I've had a tax flux, which had to go back twice. So I'm on the third one. They sent me the tax flux S. But in those periods of time, I was like without a smart trainer for at least two weeks on each of those occasions. And yes, it's a first world problem. It 100% is. And um, I'm lucky that I can you know, be able to afford um, a smart trainer. However, it is frustrating when you're trying to keep consistent. Um, the Tax Flux S has been all right, to be honest. Um, however, however, Wahoo have very kindly sent me out a kicker to try. And I really, really like it. It's, it was so much easier to set up. I'm gonna do like a specific um, Wahoo versus Tax kind of review. If you want, if you want to see that, then let me know. Um, but yeah, I really like how easy it was to set up. It is quite, it's quieter than the Tax Flux S. And what I really like about it is it's much more easier, that's not even a sentence, it's much easier to kind of transport. It folds down a lot smaller. Um, so if space is an issue, then obviously I'll go into this in that video. But yeah, that is the initial thing. And equally, because it's got a handle on it, it's easy to transport. When I go back to my parents in winter, um, and I can't go out and train, I can actually take it back there and it's much more easy just to kind of get in and out of the car with my bike. So that's another kind of tip for consistency. So yeah, I'll do a separate video on that later on, but this is just kind of like just letting you know and that my Zwift setup has changed. So if anyone's interested, that is what I'm now using. Um, let's get on to it. So the next thing to um, look at building your fitness in winter is rest. <laughs> so winter is just a time where everyone gets ill and people are more prone to getting ill. I was ill, I had around a week and a half off doing kind of any kind of riding because I just felt so ill and yeah just listen to your body, rest if you need to because I've done this in the past where you kind of push on and it just makes the illness last so much longer and then you just can't train for as long so nip it in the bud, if you're starting to feel rough or ill just rest up and do the training afterwards because it's just it's just that time of year where people do get ill. So accept it, rest, and then get back into the training. Um, and then I'm just gonna look at my notes. Yes, my last tip is 
weekend club rides. So they don't necessarily have to be with a club, just with a group of people that you can commit to riding. Um, obviously if the weather is really bad, like icy or snowy, then don't do it. But for me, um, having a club that I am saying, yes, I'm gonna go and ride with them, that pushes my motivation up higher than if it was just me on my own going out on a ride because I wouldn't do it. I'd get up and be like, nah, this looks a bit rainy, it looks a bit cold, I'm not doing it. Whereas when I've been going out with Rafa, I feel like I've committed to it and once you get there, it's never that bad and you're all in a group and you're all suffering together in the cold. And I do find that those cold, windy, wet rides are always the ones that you kind of like stick in your memory and you kind of look back and have a little laugh that you went out in such cold weather and what were we thinking um but yeah i would say try and ride with a group of people just a group of friends commit to doing it and just get out because it's way more fun and motivating when you're in a group so i reckon that is pretty much it and oh i guess one last thing to say is um that spring is coming <laughs> the lights are getting lighter and that is just makes me so excited when the clocks go, hang on, will it spring, spring back, fall forward? I don't know. Whichever way the clocks go and it stays light for longer. That is what I love. So yes, we're almost out of it. So hopefully that has helped you and encourage you to do a bit more winter training so that we're ready for the nice summer, summer long days on the bike. Um, and also I reckon it's, this is like an add on one. Don't worry if you don't ride as much because it's meant to be fun. I mean, unless we're getting paid to ride bikes, which none of us are, then it's meant to be fun. And yeah, just don't be hard on yourself if you don't feel like going out because I've not felt like going out riding outside for a long time. And I know as soon as the days get nice and we get sunny days, that will come back. So don't be hard on yourself if you just feel like having a little more of a, a little, little bit of a break. Um, and then you can just kind of shoot back into it as soon as we get back into the nicer weather, so. I'm going to leave it there for this video. If you've got any tips, leave them in the comments below because it's just a lovely community and we've all got our own tips to share. So leave your comments for winter training in the comments below and I will see you next video. Yes.